guys. A lot of people trying to get a little activity mm. in today, Annie, and they're looking at you, <laughs> wondering, can they get it in? You know, Julie, and here we have these cooler temperatures. Everyone's like, finally, mm -hmm. finally, let's get out and enjoy it. Oh, you know, now we got some rain to deal with. So, you know, today's not going to be a washout. I've said it already. And you can see this rain breaking apart. There are some heavier bands out towards the Oklahoma City area. But as it is moving from west to east, it's kind of weakening. And we do have some drier air loft, so it's having a hard time struggling to get to the ground surface. As we pulled in a little bit tighter on radar, you could see that that shower is trying to make their way in the downtown area. But again, breaking apart, maybe a little light precipitation on your windshield at this time if you're in those locations, uh, but nothing that's going to be a heavy downpour this morning. I will see those increased opportunities this afternoon. So keep that in mind. Some rumbles of thunder too. So if you're planning on getting out to some bodies of water, make sure that you're keeping an eye to the sky as well as we're tracking some lightning in the area for the afternoon. It's currently 65 degrees. How nice is this? I mean, temperatures... Uh, generally in the 60s, we'd be in the, easily in the 70s, if not 80s by now for this time of the year. Northwesterly winds, 7 miles per hour. Dew point is also being very nice at 57. So we're in the delightful category. And Julie, my favorite word? Refreshing. There it is right there. 65 degrees here for Tulsa, 68 to Pryor, 70s down a little bit further south along I-40. We do have that northerly wind flow, and we'll keep that pretty consistent today, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Similar to yesterday, so some gusts uh, could be pushing about 20, but all in all, nothing it will be problematic, just signaling those changes rolling into the forecast. Relief from the heat is here. Probably wouldn't recommend being barefoot jumping in the puddles because, you know, it's just a little bit cooler out for today. It might be a shock to the system. Our bodies have been used to this high heat, this high humidity, so temperatures in those upper 70s today with that rain-cooled air, it's going to feel a lot different. We're talking about temperatures that could be close to our record, which was 77 for this day, uh, so back in 1996. We're looking right now at 79, but a lot of it's going to depend on that cloud coverage for the afternoon and some rain-cooled air. So if we do get those two combinations, then I could potentially see us tying that record. How about 73, though, up towards Blackwell? So impressive temperatures in the area for August. How about that? All right, timing things out on radar. Again, not a washout. We will have some pockets of moderate rainfall some rumbles of thunder, but all in all, temperatures will be the main story for today as we do have that northerly wind flow being pretty consistent. A little bit of a break tonight before a better opportunity arrives for showers and storms tomorrow. I do plan on that to be more of the soaker. Sunset now at 819, 70s this evening, as you can see. Break in that precipitation before overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning, so after midnight. That's when we're going to get uh, the bulk of this precipitation. So a lot of you might be sleeping, waking up to rumbles of thunder for Sunday morning. Check this out. Temperatures overnight remaining in those 60s yeah, with that rain-cooled air. We're going to keep chances about 70 to 80 percent starting at about 1 a.m. and then continuing through the morning hours. As we head into the noon hour, we'll see more of an isolated opportunity. So the bulk of the precipitation arriving through the overnight and into early tomorrow morning. So if you're getting out for church, if you plan to go to brunch, plan accordingly. A few tenths of an inch maybe for today. Tomorrow's a different story. So tomorrow morning, uh, we're looking at some areas getting upward of about an inch to maybe two inches locally higher amounts. Some could receive a little bit less. A lot of it's going to depend on where those thunderstorms remain. And good news once again, not tracking any severe threats. Great news there. Monday, we do warm back up to a 92. It is August after all. So those temperatures <laughs> will be staying in those upper 90s. Keep in mind with that precipitation. Ooh, it's not going to feel that great out there, Julie. Buckle up. That 